back and recall what started here 13 years ago and the foundation and the new house that was built by Bobby Wilder. As we discuss Coach Ronnie this morning, let's none of us lose sight of what Coach Wilder's contributions were, which really got us to this next evolution that we're at today. I've been involved in athletic searches as either a president or a vice president in charge of athletics for nearly 20 years. And I can tell you in this instance, this one was probably the most difficult and yet also the easiest. We had a superb list of people interested in this job. And we were challenged in a good way to find the best fit for Old Dominion University, our football program, and most importantly, for our student athletes and our fans. Ricky Ronnie checked every box for me. Commitment to student athletes earning a degree, commitment to student athletes being engaged in the campus and the community, and a commitment to building a winning football program. Good morning, thank you all for coming out today. It's great to have such a nice facility like the Priority Automotive Club to hold this conference in. Dennis, we might need to expand the, the party. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for being here today. What an exciting time for Old Dominion University and our entire Hampton Roads community. Today we get to introduce just the second head football coach in our program's rich 13-year history. But before I get into the process and the search, I would like to thank several individuals who were instrumental on our successful search. We wanted someone who could command the respect of the team, our student athletes, assistant coaches, and our football support staff. We sought a dynamic recruiter who could reestablish our presence in the 757 area code and throughout the Commonwealth, given the wealth of football talent literally in our backyard. We sought a leader with impeccable character, intelligence, family values, discipline, and accountability. In short, we were looking for a miracle worker. <laughs> the, the quality and quantity of the pool of interested candidates in our head coaching vacancy was a true reflection of the national brand recognition earned by Old Dominion University by our diverse campus community our commitment to academic and athletic excellence, and our first-class academic and athletic facilities. Candidates were well aware, in particular, of ODU's new S.B. Ballard Stadium, our rich history of community and fan support, our world-class L.R. Hill training and practice complex, and our overall commitment to national athletic prominence. As a result, we shifted through Dozens of resumes took and placed hundreds of phone calls and eventually held phone interviews with a dozen candidates trying to gauge their level of desire, their knowledge of the game, and their overall ability to rebuild ODU football into one of the nation's premier programs. From those dozen phone interviews, we narrowed the search to a selected few individuals whom we brought to campus this past weekend for in-depth visit and interviews which took place often in the wee hours of the night. One candidate in particular stood out for his passion, his desire, and his overall relentless pursuit of our head coaching position in addition to his wealth of experience and overall ability. Let me be clear, desire for our job was paramount. Consider these most recent accomplishments that stood out in our eyes. This season, in his second year as offensive coordinator at Penn State, Penn State was 22nd out of 130 FBS programs in scoring offense, averaging 34 points a game. That sounds pretty attractive right now. <laughs> Six out of the last nine years, twice at Vanderbilt, four times at Penn State, he has been part of winning nine or more games in those years. Both programs were down on their luck when he arrived as part of James Franklin's staff at each institution. And they have accomplished two top 10 seasons at Penn State, five top 25 seasons, two at Vanderbilt, three at Penn State. Vandy was ranked top 25 in the final polls in 2009, 
2012 and 2013, twice for back to back for the first time in the program's history. Seven straight winning season. At both Vandy and Penn State, he played an integral role in recruiting the best class in each program's history. I could continue to read similar statistics all morning, but I think you get the picture of his success. In short, he has seen it, he's done it, he's achieved it at the highest level. He is new head football coach, Ricky Ryan. Thanks for being here today. I am extremely excited to be the head coach at Open Day. I'd like to thank the Board of Trustees, President Broderick, Wood Seeley, Bruce Stewart, and all of Monarch Nation for the opportunity. This is a responsibility that I do not take lightly. In my short time in Norfolk, I can already feel the passion that this fan base has for our program. Our team will work diligently each and every day to reward that faith I would also like to thank James Franklin, Sandy Barber, and Penn State for our memorable six years. Coach Franklin has been a professional mentor and a personal friend. The last nine years has been an incredible ride. His faith and confidence in me is something I will never be able to repay. I can only hope that I will be able to pass that spirit on to the next generation of coaches. I love this game, and I will surround myself with young men and coaches who feel the same way. The staff that will join me in the 757 will bring energy, enthusiasm, and expertise that will make our entire community proud. We will work diligently to help each and every young man in our program reach his maximum potential on and off the field. In order to do that, our program will follow four basic core values. Number one, positive attitude. I believe that every situation in our life can be viewed one of two ways, opportunity or obstacle. It is either a chance for me to grow or learn, or is an impediment stopping me from accomplishing my goals. The way you look at the situations is a choice. A positive attitude allows for you to attack problems and see them as another opportunity to do something worthwhile. Number two will be great work ethic. No one will work harder than me. The ability to work hard is a choice. You choose to put the work in necessary to be successful. Confidence is earned, ego is stolen. Hard work is what allows a confident person to know that they have earned the right to win. <laughs> Number three will be compete. I believe in keeping score, and the world does too. All right, We are going to keep score in everything we do. Our players will display relentless competitive fire in everything they do. From practice, to the classroom, to community involvement, to Cornwall Field, our players will display a burning desire to compete that will make Monarch Nation proud. The last one is sacrifice. Nothing great in this world has ever been achieved without sacrifice. We must be willing to forego a little pleasure now for the ultimate reward of a championship later. This last part's hard, so. I, I worked for a guy for uh, 11 years that uh, he had a tendency to get emotional um, about these things, and I made fun of him like constantly. <laughs> and, uh, so this last part, I already know I'm gonna get emotional. I'm just gonna put that out there right now, so it is what it is. I'd like to uh, end by thanking my family who's here with me today. <clears throat> my wife, Jen, sons, Ryder, and Jake. I would not be able to stand in front of you today without my wife. She's my best friend my greatest ally, and my most loyal advocate. I see this as an opportunity, as a way to prove to her that all her sacrifices are worth it. Sad, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> now I got that one laughing at me, which is like, oh, yeah, it's, it's good. Laugh, laugh, Joel, man, that's nice. <laughs> Once again, I am truly humbled and honored to be a head football coach at Old Dominion. I look forward to beginning the process of bringing championships to Alex Stadium. Thank you.